What's going on guys? Josh from EverydayFBA.com back with another Q4 video. In this video, we're going to talk about 30-day storage fees and how they can spike during the fourth quarter. So if you are a brand new Amazon seller, this is your first Q4, you're not sure what to expect, or if you really just want to learn more about 30-day storage fees in general, check out this video. You'll be glad you did. All right, folks, if you're a brand new Amazon seller, or even if you've been selling for a few months already, it's important to understand all of Amazon's fees and not only that, but how they can spike during Q4. So let's break it down here real quick. Monthly inventory storage fees. This is from January to September. You're being charged 69 cents per cubic foot. What is a cubic foot? Well, guys, if you didn't do very well in algebra, just barely passed in high school, just like me, then you really don't know. But here is the definition here. It's just the width length and height of the item calculated multiplied the three figures together so whether or not you know how to do that I don't want to do that I mean I have no idea what the size of my inventory is and how much space it actually takes up because it's not here in my house that's why I push it on Amazon right so it's up to them to go ahead and measure my items and calculate how much cubic feet of storage I'm taking up they are going to charge me per cubic foot 69 cents January through September and then once you get into Q4 look how much that spikes up two dollars and forty cents per cubic foot that's an increase of a dollar and seventy one cents a huge drastic change in how much you're being charged so Q4 is a busy 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 selling season everyone is sending in inventory into Amazon that is why Amazon is charging more space is at a premium so they are charging more for that premium privilege of using FBA. But what does this mean to you as a brand new Amazon FBA seller? What can you expect as we get into Q4? Let me go ahead and slide into my inventory lab, guys. I'm going to show you my storage fees from my very first year selling on Amazon. All right, we're inside my inventory lab account. We're looking at 2017, the total year's worth of accounting my very first solid year in Amazon in this year I was hustling part-time for the first half then I went all in full-time on Amazon in that last quarter so this is a breakdown of that entire year and you're gonna see a lot of stuff blurred out the reason I'm blurring it out is because I'm gonna slowly reveal this stuff to you in future videos I want to give you guys a good base knowledge of what it's like what the fees are like what you can expect in terms of sales and profits and all the fees associated with it what you can expect in your first year selling on Amazon so look forward to seeing more of videos just like this in the future but let's focus on these 30 day storage fees you can see right here I had none that's because I really didn't have any inventory in right I'm just starting out just sending in inventory then you see it goes to six cents two dollars and thirty five cents ten eighty three fourteen oh eight went down slightly as I start to adjust my inventory that's a story for another video but it starts to go down and then starts to spike back up as I start to ramp my inventory back up right around here is when I quit and went full-time into Amazon and you can see where the, the inventory starts to increase the fees start to increase we're up to nine dollars and thirty four cents in October but look at November and December that number is significantly higher November we're coming in at fifty nine dollars and forty three cents in fees and then December a hundred and eleven dollars and seventy two cents in fees and then January I'll go ahead and tell you too was about a hundred and thirty between a hundred and thirty and a hundred sixty dollars in monthly storage fees so you can see as my inventory ramped up so did my storage fees as well as they got even higher in Q4 now the bad part about telling you guys this kind of information is that I can't tell you exactly how much inventory I had in Amazon during this time I have no idea it was you know what two three years ago so I don't really know but I can say that I hover around 12 to 1500 items in inventory at any time so now my inventory was a combination of used media and then retail arbitrage and online arbitrage you know toys and gifts and things that sell during Q4 so it's really hard to kind of pinpoint exactly how much cubic feet you're taking up when you're just sending in inventory there is a way to look at that exact number inside Amazon inside your seller central account but really mentally as you're 
pushing in inventory, you really have no idea how long it's going to take to sell, how long it's going to sit, and how much real space is it taking up. Now, to help give you guys a better understanding or at least a better grasp of how 30-day storage fees can affect your business or how they relate to your business, in December, I did $12,000 in sales. So out of that $12,000, $111.72 went to 30-day storage fees. That's less than 1% of sales, a very, very, very small amount, right? Listen guys, I know that Amazon fees can be overwhelming and it seems like they're taking a bigger and bigger and bigger chunk of your profits every single year. But fees are a part of any business and you just have to be weary of them, understand them, know how to tack them and plan for them and you'll be okay. My name is Josh, everydayfba.com is the website. Look forward for more Q4 videos and more videos where I reveal exactly how much money I made and all the numbers behind my first year selling on Amazon. Guys, don't forget about my Q4 Mastermind Leads Group. If you want access to some great toy and game leads this Q4 to help maximize your sales, go ahead and click that first link in the description and sign up today. It's a very limited group. Check it out today, and I'll see you guys on the inside. And YouTube, I'll see you on the next video.